As scientists, for example, we've been telling the world and the politicians since decades what's going on. The world is warming, the oceans are acidifying, and so as a scientist you feel powerless. That's why I decided to go from knowledge to action, because if we don't do it, who's going to do it? Seafields was founded with the idea of cultivating sargassum and using it for um, carbon sequestration. Sargassum is a problem in the Caribbean, but also an opportunity. If we can domesticate it, we can remove CO2 from the atmosphere and also replace many products that are still being made from fossil fuels. The work we're doing here in St. Vincent then becomes a blueprint for local communities to commercialise sargassum, but it also allows seafields to develop methods to contain and cultivate it in the open ocean. We use the drone to get back to the area, so we can see the area of the sargassum inside, how the barrier is forming in different conditions. together is a unique mix of scientists, environmental engineers and then also local people who are used to working on boats, who are sailors. They know how the oceans operate, they know what the seabeds are like, they know the technical challenges um, that are faced with uh, an engineering task like this. The ocean is so vast and there's a huge diversity of organisms there. There must be something in there that can help us tackle climate change. And that's why I got a bit of hope. And now I'm actually trying to find those solutions in the ocean for my kids, for future generations.